this piece called Piss Christ. Oh, oh, oh you're going there. Yeah, I know, oh, I oh know. Boy. Hey everybody, welcome to The Poor. My name is Father Christian, and this is the place where faith and culture are served together. Plastic crucifix, and it was submerged in a jar or something of urine. Great art, there's no real thing as Christian art. Like if someone just draws a cross and there's nothing behind it, is that Christian art? No, I mean, you can have some really ugly, nasty art that is some of the most sacred art because it it's depicting truth. And sometimes life is ugly and we go through different things. One of the most controversial art pieces of the last, I, I don't know, decades is a piece, and, and this is what it's called, so. This piece called Piss Christ. Oh, 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 you're going there. So there was protests, and it was a, like, I think plastic crucifix. It was a photo, and it was submerged in, like, some, in a like, jar or something of urine, uh -huh. and maybe other, some other bodily fluids. So people were highly offended by this. In the art world, Christianity is not exactly, there aren't tons of artists that claim to be Christians. I took actually a seminary course a few years ago. It was on art and theology. And this is from the, the teacher who was an art historian. But he said this artist was one of the few that talked about his faith, Christian faith. And so art is really difficult. It, it wants us to go deeper. And so if you're thinking 80s, what was happening in that era? Cindy Lauper, Cold War. But also the AIDS crisis. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cindy Lauper, too. Yeah, Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Cold War, AIDS crisis. If you think of it that way, that the body fluids, all the things, that the fear and hysteria, you know, these people have AIDS and just shut away. I mean, the stories, I mean, they would just be taken to the hospital, could not see anyone. And there's humiliation in families that, you know, my child has AIDS, all this stuff. But if you look at it as the cross goes down into that, mm. the depths mm. of that. Mm. Mm. Um, mm. Mm. Now we, I mean, we can look at it and just be like, oh, it's some person that's yeah. desecrating so the cross. Yeah. You know? That's how it came but, across. Yep. That, and that's where, like, even the death, I mean, there was the most humiliating death that Jesus could have experienced. Sure. Yeah. And so, again, like, that piece of art. You can look at it and be like, eh, maybe this is sacrilegious. I don't know. You can also look, that is the most deeply sacred piece of art. Yeah, as the well. depths that Christ will go into our humanity to pull us out of it, to be with us in, in that darkness. One of my more favorite paintings of all time, a Christian art, or just art in general. Jesus is pulling Adam and Eve out of hell. Mm. Right, so he goes down and he's pulling them. So he goes into the depths mm -hmm. of hell and to pull us out of the darkness. He's not afraid to go in there um, and grab us. We say that in the Apostles' Creed, you know, that, that, that Jesus descended into the hell and then brought, brought us out. But do you see the correlation of what you could see? Well, Christ? absolutely. I've, it's, I've it's never like heard that before. Exact. And that's why I think sometimes, too, it's good that you do a great job at this, that when you do throw a piece of art or something of work that can get us revved up a bit, or we're like, why is he playing that uh, at, at church? <laughs> you introduce it and you lead us on it, because sometimes we do need coaching. And, and so you just coached all of us on that what was it called? Urine Christ? Yeah, yeah. Christ. It's so a, it, it was very evocative, provocative, controversial, uh, but I never even thought of that way. And that's a powerful, that's a powerful theological take on it of Jesus coming into a place where everyone abandoned those who were left behind because of the AIDS crisis. And he says, I will enter into your disease and be with you and give you and bear your burden. It was the leprosy of his death. Absolutely. And he Absolutely. went to them and he touched yep. them that nobody yes. was like the most unclean. But if he would have just done like a very uh, elaborate, beautiful painting and tried to describe that in more beautiful terms and less controversial terms, the eyeballs would have been minimal, maybe. And it would have just maybe preached to yeah. the choir. But now he did it this way, he got a really good gallery. At, it, I think it's premiered in Chicago. It just erupted and all these eyeballs were on it. I wonder how many people had that same takeaway. Or did he speak to that? Did he say, this is why I did it? Uh, I, I don't know. But also, you do want to be careful in art, like not to just explain every little That's thing. right. Okay, friends. Make sure you all are going to subscribe to this channel because we want to give you more of the poor, more of the poor. You can also catch us on TikTok and Instagram and get the little snippets of this. It is
is great. Brandon Glick to have you on here. You broke barriers on the show. Thank you to our studio audience. God bless you. We'll see you on the next one. Au revoir.